Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at the new Microsoft Power Toys. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so to some of you, Power Toys is going to mean absolutely nothing, but to those of us who are a little bit older and can remember Windows 95 and Windows XP for that matter, most of you probably at some point have installed the Microsoft Power Toys app, which was basically an add-on to Windows, which added some of the features which basically that they pretty much forgot to put in the first time round. And also some of the items were user-created applets, which actually helped you do things easier within Windows in the interface, things like CD burning, tweak UI for the user interface, and lots of other things like that. So now Microsoft have decided to update their Power Toys for Windows 10 users. So let's go to the computer and we'll take a look at it and I'll show you how to install it and what features are currently baked in. Okay, so first of all to uh, preface this, this is a very much a beta product and hopefully in the coming months or years, however long it takes, hopefully will become a really good tool to add on to your Windows 10 installation and help you do things that you'd normally do. So first thing you need to do is open up your web browser and we can go to the GitHub repository. So type in github.com forward slash Microsoft. And this is Microsoft's home for open source creations and all their little tricks and tools, which for programmers and all that kind of thing. But what we're really interested in here is if we scroll down, here we are, here's Power Toys. So click on Power Toys, it'll give you an, a uh, listings of all the different codes, etc., all the updates. And if we scroll down further, it'll give you an overview. So here's the overview. So Power Toys is a set of utilities for power users to tune and streamline their Windows experience for greater productivity. Well, we hope. Inspired by the Windows 95 era of Power Toys project, this reboot provides power users with a way to squeeze more efficiency out of the Windows 10 shell and customize it for individual workflows. A great overview of the Windows 95 Power Toys can be found here. So if you click on that link, you can go to the Wikipedia hub and check out the installation, well, check out what was in Windows 95, which actually was a quite a big Power Toys set of tools. So let's go straight in. So the first preview of these utilities can be installed from here. So if we click on there, and here we can see this is a release version 0.11.0. So it's uh, pretty much an alpha or pre-release. So click on there. And here is the assets to install it. So you can choose either the zip file or the MSI setup file. We'll go with the SML, uh, MSI setup file. And we'll download that to the desktop. So now we've got our Power Toys installer. So double click on that. And as you say, welcome to the Power Toy Setup Wizard. Hit next. Uh, agree to the license because, well, well, you've got no choice. And it gives you options of where you want to install it for. So you've got the option to create a shortcut, create a shortcut on the desktop, and automatically start Power Toys at logon. Now I'm going to add a shortcut as well just to make life easier. And hit next. And install. So there we go, that was pretty straightforward. So now we've got a desktop icon for our Power Toys and we've got the option now to launch Power Toys. So let's go ahead and finish that and we'll launch Power Toys. So nothing happened there, but what we've got now is our icon down in the taskbar. So if we right click on it, we've got option for settings about, or we can shut it down altogether. And you can probably open it by double clicking. Yep, you can. So here, here's our Power Toys settings. So here's the general settings. So at the moment, the only two av available Power Toys are the Fancy Zones and the Shortcut Guide. But hopefully, obviously, this will be added to and have a lot more features in the future. So let's take a look at the first one. So this is the new Fancy Zones. So Fancy Zones are essentially when you're trying to snap a window and you've got more windows. So normally, if you snap a window, you'd have this kind of setup. And then you could click on your other window and you could snap to there. You could also, with these, you can snap them various other places. You can use the Windows keys, etc. But this is going to give us a little bit more flexibility. So in the Fancy Zone settings, so we've got options for uh, actually launching the zone editor. 
Now on there it does say you can press the win and the tilde key anytime. Um, for UK users this isn't going to work. Currently there is no localization so if you've got a non-American keyboard setup uh, basically you're going to have to go into edit zones manually from the Paratoy settings. Now some of the features here are already set up so I'd probably leave them as they are just to keep it where they are. But the more important one here is hold shift key to enable zones when dragging. So we'll see more about that shortly. So if we click on edit zones, now we go to this window. So here is the layouts, the optional layouts. Now we can select edit selected layouts. So if you want a bit more customization, you can do. Uh, if we scroll through, so I'm gonna go with this one here, the priority grid. So now we're gonna have our snap two zones, which are gonna be four small ones in the quarters and then a large one in the central pane. So if we click apply, and now we can close that down. So if we open up uh, File Explorer, for instance, so if we now press the left mouse button down to hold it as if you're dragging it around, but press the shift key, and then we get our zones. So now we can choose where we want to dump it. So if we put that there. Let's say open up the Microsoft Store. Again, move as if you're dragging it around, press the shift key, and we'll put that in the top window there. And there we go, you get the general idea. So you can basically snap windows to where you want them to a little bit easier. So for some of you, that's gonna be really helpful so you can set out all your windows and put them where you want. Um, yeah, pretty good, I like that. So let's go back into Power Toys and let's look at the shortcut guide, which is the other engine. And this is actually quite a useful one for those Windows users who like to use shortcut keys but are not sure what they are. So this is basically giving you an overlay of the Windows shortcuts when the Windows key is pressed. So to give you an idea of how that works, so if we press and hold the Windows key, and we get this overlay. So you can see your window in the background and you've got your Windows controls. So you've got maximize, snap right, snap left, minimize, and all the other sections. So open action center, display and hide the desktop, open file explorer. And at the bottom also, it's got the numbers over your apps or pinned items on the taskbar. So if you press win and one, that will open the Microsoft Store. If you press the Windows key and two, it will open up Mail, Windows key and three, and File Explorer. You get the general idea. But essentially, this is really good for most users as if you're about to do something, you think, oh, what was the key press? Press and hold the Windows key, and shortly after, this overlay will come up to remind you what you want to do. So not a great deal for us to play with at the moment in Power Toys, which is unfortunate but hopefully, like I said, they will be adding extra features to it. And also, if you're not sure if there's gonna be an update or not, you can always click on check for updates and see what is available. It'll take you straight to the uh, GitHub releases. So you can check your version number against the release version and see if there's anything new to install. So there we go. There are the new Microsoft Power Toys assets that are inside the Power Toys app. Unfortunately, like I said, there's only two at the moment, but the Windows key one for showing your uh, Combination keys, I think it's gonna be actually really useful and for snapping apps if you're maybe a trader, a writer, an editor, having those features there is pretty good. And like I said, hopefully they're gonna be adding a lot more features in the coming months. So let me know, what do you think of Power Toys? Do you really wish for something like the, uh, the previous Power Toys from Windows 95 or from Windows XP? If you do, let me know in the comment section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll be catching you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.